My name is Taylor Sinclair. John. Violet Smith. Denzel Tinsley. Melissa Vita. Randy Fry. Brittany. And I'm Jack Yeah, I started AAU actually when I was four, like young pup, yeah. So I've been running my entire life. My mom, she's had way too much energy as a child, so she's like, we need to get rid of some of this. So she put me in track, and ever since then, I've just been running. In seventh grade of middle school, I tried a little bit of everything, because I didn't know what I was good at yet. So I did jumps, I did hurdles, I did long distance sprints, I did everything. Stay motivated by like calling my dad. He's like really sick right now, so his last wish to see me throw a hammer my senior year. And my dad really sees me as an athlete, so I just kind of help him out or like keeping my friends around me. Like I have my doubts sometimes, but they keep me on the team. There's like certain times that I want to hit, so like during practice, well I need to get that time, so I need to like feel pain in practice so I can actually fulfill that like during a race. Um, I broke the 200 record at the conference meet and that was pretty cool, which I had, did not think I could do at all this year. Somehow last week I ran a 26.43 which tied the record and then I was like whoa I'm really close to that record so that really motivated me I was like I need to push hard I need to like beat that record. A lot of like staying motivated is like knowing your goals and what you want to work for so then you realize that like if you want to actually achieve them you're gonna have to push for them. And some goals that I've already achieved is I have made it to nationals and I broke the javelin record. Dedication. It's really hard to like make yourself want to go out and like run like that you know like Day in and day out, it's just like, it's hard on your body. You're constantly sore. It just takes a lot to be like, all right, I'm gonna go running now. I give myself short-term goals, so I would definitely want to PR every meet. So if I PR every meet, I keep me motivated to get better, to get to you know, my big goals that I want to accomplish, you know? I was conference champ last year, so that was a goal that I wanted to accomplish. Improvement, I always want to improve. Just looking at my goals and like the joy I get from, you know, reaching my goals and all the hard work and I can finally look back and say, you know, I did it, you know, on my own, you know, just work hard, you know, and show everybody like it's possible, you know, because I never thought I'd break, you know, college records, but I've been breaking records and I've just been setting the bar even higher and now um, I broke most of the records here and I just got one more to go, so that's, you know, that's one of the big goals of this outdoor season coming up. I think a lot of people don't realize like how many different events there are in track and how like there is one to like fit like most any like kind of person like there's throwing there's jumping there's running and I just don't think people realize like they hear the word track and they think just running and to some people like running is not very appealing whatsoever so they just kind of shut it out. Family. I don't know, it's just like you get a bond with track and you, like, you just meet people you don't meet like outside of track. It's not like a team because, I mean, we're not a team. We're family, like, we <laughs> definitely family. Pain. <laughs> Practices are hard and you're literally always in pain, I feel like. So you're always like pushing to get better. You're always fighting that pain to get better. Like, it's just a lot of pain to go through to get the good. Jump, because that's what I do. Every day I go to practice and I jump. Hard work, the time, the effort, you know, we running, we don't even run, you know, hundreds and, you know, sprints all day. We doing 400s, 500s, 600s, you know, we doing stuff that we don't usually do, you know, pushing our bodies to the limit, plus going to school and, you know, getting up for lifting. So it's a lot of hard work, but it's all worth it at the end. You know, you just got to stay focused and stay positive about everything. If you like running, then it's like they'll pay attention to it more. But like if you don't care about running, if you don't enjoy like becoming exhausted from a workout, like you're not gonna appreciate those who work hard to like race. 
they don't understand how hard we work and I think that's part of it too. They don't understand how hard it is to actually sprint and run and race against people who are also in really good shape. Because I don't think people realize how serious people take the sport of track and field. How much work that we put in it and how much, you know, time, all the energy, all the sacrifices that we make. Because a lot of people just think that any of our talents are just kind of natural or God-given. And you really got to work for them. Because everybody thinks track is easy. Anybody can run is what everybody thinks. Nobody thinks that, you know, form running or technique running or jumping, you know, people who do field like you. So a lot of people don't think that's hard, you know. Everybody's like, oh, he's just, he's just fast. Anybody can be fast. Not really, you know. It's <laughs> because people don't really see, you know, they just think, oh, everybody can run. But for you to train for four years, you know, just to run a time that you've been running, wanting to run a lifetime, you know, that's take another level of discipline. So a lot of people just don't understand the struggle yet. Like until they try it, they'll see like, Practice is not easy, you know, you got certain times to hit, you got certain goals to hit, it's like a goal every day, you know, and then you start fresh when you wake up in the morning, you know, so they don't really know, but, you know, as they see, like, our workouts and stuff, then I think they understand. I think what I've learned from running track is it really shows you, like, how you have to push yourself because it's like, it's one of those, if you don't push yourself, then you're not going to go anywhere, and sometimes pushing yourself with it can be really hard to do. I learned to always stay true to myself, believe in myself no matter what, to never give up working. I definitely learned a lot of leadership skills. Definitely, you know, being put in the spotlight over and over and over again at these big track meets. And, you know, a lot of the young people, like the rookies that came on the team this year, definitely look up to me like, dang, he's good. So what has he done that I need to do to get on his level? So it's definitely a a leadership thing and I have to like carry myself in a different way than like other people on the team can carry themselves. It's hard to keep pushing when it gets really hard. Even if you want to quit, you still have to keep going because that's the only way to get better. Perseverance. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. No matter the injury, no matter the obstacle, it don't matter. Anything is possible. If you just put your mind to it, you can achieve it.